All right, what a great way to start off the episode, a genie, and as you may know by now, I do not use it on mining anymore, but on crafting, because I want to lamp up crafting for a future goal. That is awesome. Oh, and by the way, something funny just happened. Um, you know, I'm training my woodcutting, right? Now, when you train woodcutting, there's a chance of getting a bird nest from the tree. And a few moments ago, I got one with a ring in it. And I got an emerald ring. Now, this one is quite useless to me because it, um, if I enchant it, I can make a dual ring and that teleports me to Castle Wars or Clan Wars or whatever. But I can't go there, so I can't do anything with it. But there is a very small chance that I get a diamond ring from it. Now, if I enchant a diamond ring, I get a ring of life. And this is an actual item on my goals list. So, I mean, the original goal is to kill the uh, Chaos Fanatic for it. But if I can't get it from him, then maybe this is the way to do it. Right, this is what I'm talking about. A bird nest. Let's see what ring we can get. Ah, man. And there is level 43, Fletching. We have unlocked something that we will probably never use, but then still. Oh yeah, look at this, guys. Proof that I can finally get different random events. I really want to do this, even though it's just a cosmetic item. I mean, if I can get the hat, it would be so cool. I just literally unlocked all the uh, different soundtracks for every single area. But alright, let's go and see what we will get. Yes, we actually got it. Oh man. Yeah, awesome. Level 50 woodcutting, that is looking good. All right, so here we go, we got 45 fletching, that is enough for now. I wanna return here once I have a rune axe, but now it's time for some PVMing, so let's go out there and see what we can find. So this is actually the first time I'm gonna try this, but I should be able to unnote my stuff at this guy. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I can, awesome. Food. I am not sure if this is a good idea or not, but I'm gonna go to the Lava Dragons. It's been like ages since I've been there. Only in the first episode, and it's now like episode 8. And it is peak time at the moment, so I am taking a bit of a risk here. But, you know, if I die, then I will just figure out something else that I'm gonna do. It's just that I wanna go there because I want a Rune Axe, or a Rune Guide Shield, or any other drops that it can drop. So, uh, let's just give it a try. Alright, there we go. Got the kill. And we got, wow, that is awful. Kill number two. Death runes, okay, not that great. All right, give me a rune axe right now. Okay, I, I'm having so much bad luck right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna say that I'm gonna get a bad drop this one and then maybe I'll get a good one. So this is gonna be a terrible drop, you'll see. <laughs> Thank you in advance for the lava runes. You're welcome. All right. Even worse. Even worse. Coins again. Oh man, this is like the fifth time. It's full of people in here. Oh. Whoa, this kill took almost six years. Oh man. And what do we get? <laughs> What is this? Okay, so this is gonna be the last kill I do. I killed 10 in total and I got the worst drops ever. So hopefully this fire orb, that is also like, I have no single use for that. Literally, this is the worst trip I've ever done in my entire life of, uh, of Lava Dragons. This is unbelievable. I'll just pick them up, maybe they out for something. Yeah, 2.7k, but damn it, so bad. I decided to go back to the pirate's house to get myself more nature runes, train thieving and also get myself level 53 smithing so that I can make mithril bolts. And there is level 68 thieving, that is awesome. We got uh, 672 nature runes and we will keep going till I think like 71 thieving because I need 3.4k nature runes to get 53 smithing. Alright, so I got 1035 nature runes. I think it's now time to go to the gold ores and use them for super heat because I just don't want to go and do like 3k nature runes at once. If I die then, uh, so much progress is lost. So let's go there and, uh, you know, train some smithing. Well, I just missed the level, but here we go. 46 smithing, not too bad. And here we go, level 47 smithing. Here comes a very special smithing level because we have reached level 48 and that now means I can make full steel. So that's pretty cool. 
Level 73 magic. 49 smithing, very nice. And here is a very special level, level 50, because now I can make mithril bars. That is a very nice achievement. Here we go for level 69 thieving. That means only 15 more levels till the rogue chests. Boom, there's level 70. So I decided to spend all my cash on even more nature runes so that I have enough now for 53 smithing. So let's go there and train it right now. I decided to move over to this place because there's many PKers downstairs right now. So let's use this super heat and get another smithing level to 51, which is nice because now I can make mithril axes. So I will not have to do it with a steel axe anymore. This is very nice if I have to rebuild. 52 smithing, here we go. Only one more level to go. Nice. So, here is 74 magic, and one more level till 75, which means I can then go for the imbued version of this cape, which is gonna be sick. I finally got it guys, the first mini grind is now done. We got 53 smithing, I can make mithril bolts, but to finish them I need 54 uh, fletching as well, so let's go for that and then make some nice bolts. Alright, so I'm gonna kill some Chaos Dwarves for mithril bars, but I wanna empty my looting bag first and get my bow back and stuff like that. I got some lava dragon bones in here, but I'm not gonna bring uh, bring them to the altar because I just don't want to risk it. But after this, I will get a level, so let's do that first and then kill these dwarves. Okay then, here we go for the level 46 prayer. Yoohoo! Level 69 range and level 750 total, so that means we have achieved another goal, which is another milestone, 750 total. Awesome! Okay, I killed 119 Chaos Dwarves and I finally got 4 Mithril Bars and 4 Muddy Keys because these are all 1 Mithril Bar each as well. Which means I can now make 70 Bolts and a Mithril X, so that is gonna be sick. Alright, we got the Mithril Bars. So let's make the first Mithril X on this account. Only one please. Yep, here we go. And here we go, we got it! Mithril X. Honestly, this is so satisfying, making these bolts. Now the only thing that I have to do is train fletching so that I can actually use these on each other. I need uh, 54, so let's do that right now. And there's 51 woodcutting. <laughs> Look where we are! In Janil, and we got a new soundtrack as well. Cool! Let's go for the reward. What will we get? It is... Uh, I guess coins? Oh my god, a maze random event! That is so rare on this account. Like, this can only happen when I'm standing right here and it's happening right now. Oh man. I am begging you, please be useful. Please be feathers or whatever, coal, I don't know. And... Oh my god! <laughs> 992 feathers! Literally, my only way to get feathers in this game is by killing Evienses, guys. And Evienses give 1 to 6 feathers per kill. And this is like 1k feathers. Holy crap. And the Mithril are coming in as well. This is just... I'm probably gonna die before I can even get, you know, get to use all these. But this is so super sick. It is time for a new fletching level, level 50, only 4 more levels to go. 57 woodcutting, I can now make a waka, but I will not be using that anytime soon at least. Alright, so I guess I could do this again, but um, I wanted the hat only, and I'm not gonna keep the, the other ones, so just get rid of this guy, but oh well. I wish. So here it is, finally, 54 fletching, which means I can now make mithril bolts from scratch in the wilderness. Oh man, that is so huge. I mean, I can now possibly kill some bosses, so that is very interesting. Let's actually make some bolts like right away, because of course I have the ingredients or the items that I need in my inventory. So use the feathers on the mithril bolts, and look at that. I'm actually creating mithril bolts. And now thanks to the maze random event, I can make many more, but of course, I shouldn't die then. So, let's go and kill a boss. So even though I love this hat so much, I have to get rid of it because I just need the inventory space for food. So, I'm very sorry, but bye-bye, Lederhosen hat. Well, 57 cooking, awesome. 
Okay, so the monster that I'm gonna kill is the Chaos Elemental, and I have looked up a guide on how to kind of safe spot him, but then I have to first lure him to this place, and of course I have to hope, I have to pray that there's not gonna be a PK here to kill me. Um, I'm gonna go and lure the Chaos Elemental, and um, I will show you guys how things will go. I literally spend all this time trying to lure the Chaos Ellie, and this is what happens. He already got attacked. Oh my god, that sucks so bad. Okay, so I managed to set him up the perfect way because I can actually poison him now with my dagger because he's on melee distance and hopefully I did poison him right now. That will be perfect and as soon as he is po poisoned I will start and use my uh, mithril bolts again. But this is great. According to the rune wiki he can be poisoned but I hit him like six times now but he still is not poisoned so... I'm not sure if this is actually true. And there is a hit. Another hit. Nice. And another hit. Not a high one, but then still. Boom! If there's no PK here that will interrupt me, then this is gonna be a successful kill. I'm just sure about it. I mean, I do hit him quite often. So this is great. Oh my god! Oh my god! I killed him! <laughs> We have completed the goal, guys! We killed the Chaos Elemental! Holy shit! I am so proud! I am so proud! Chaos Elemental kill count 1. That is a goal completed. Oh man! Sick! My friends, today was a big victory. Because this is exactly why I have created this series, this account. It feels so good that all the things we have done from scratch in the wilderness actually lead to killing all these bosses and even though there are many more challenges such as Callisto, Venonatis and Vetion, it is so great that we actually killed the Chaos Elemental now. I mean if you think about it, we created these Mithril Bolts from scratch by gaining all these items and killing all these monsters in the wildy to get the Rune Crossbow, to get the Mithril Bars, the Feathers, all that stuff, the skills that are required and with all these items we killed the Chaos Elemental. But we have also reached a new total level milestone today which is 750 total. Of course the next step is 1000 but that will take a while. But I think that what we have to focus on right now is to kill Scorpia because after that there's only three more bosses left and that is going to be the biggest challenge of this season. But um, of course for that I will probably need to get Adamant Bolts E, uh, I mean of course Diamond Bolts E. So we have to train smithing, fletching and thieving even more but of course that will happen eventually. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.